There are quite a few hidden treasures in St. Louis, you know, the fascinating people, places, and artifacts that few people know about. And I found another one. Now, I could be wrong, maybe all of St. Louis knows about this, certainly those affiliated with Wash U do, but I sure didn't. This is nice. Located on top of Crow Hall on Washington University's Danforth campus is a telescope, a really old telescope. It's donated to the university almost 150 years ago, 1859. A gentleman named James Yeatman, who was the, one of the members of the Board of Trustees at the time, purchased the telescope for a magnificent total of $1,500. Was that considered a lot of money then? I think so. <laughs> Now, this telescope, known as the Yeatman Refractor after its benefactor, was high-end technology when it debuted at Wash U a century and a half ago. At the time, the university was in downtown St. Louis, and the observatory was located at the corner of 18th and St. Charles Streets. By the 1890s, the school occupied three city blocks, and while the buildings were beautiful, built with the city's signature red brick, the urban location became an uncomfortable learning environment. Hot, solid brick buildings with rooms filled with dust from the unpaved streets made students and faculty long for green space. By 1904, the first buildings on Wash U's current campus were completed. Before classes moved here, these buildings served as the headquarters for the World's Fair, but by January 1905, the first classes on what was known as the Hilltop Campus were in session. Now what does this have to do with the telescope? Well, there's no trace left of the old campus. The buildings are gone, but the telescope remains. This telescope has survived two campuses, and its current location is its second home on these college grounds. It not only survives, but it still works and is regularly used. For today, it's something we use for teaching purposes and for just, it's open to this university community. Students come up here. Some of the astronomy classes send the students up here. It's a great place to see some of the moon and Saturn and various planets and some of the nebulae. Watch the observatory. Yep, it's open as long as it's clear. As long as it's clear, that's the key. Yeah, you're, you're probably it's not going to see anything. Yeah, yeah, you probably won't see much. It's not in focus. <laughs> it doesn't matter how old or new the equipment, if the clouds are out, the stars and the planets aren't. The observatory is operated by Wash U students, and they do know a thing or two about the solar system. Okay, so Saturn is where? Uh, so right now Saturn is just a little bit below the moon, uh, probably about a hand's length, and then just barely to the left of, of where that is. So it's, it shows up, it's, it's something you can... You can see that? Yeah, you can easily see it with your, with your naked eye. I'll just have to take his word for it. Luckily, the clouds were moving fast, and I did get my first peek of the moon, up close and personal. That's a marvelous night for a moon dance With stars up above your eyes now I couldn't see Saturn with my naked eye, Cool, but with the help of a 150-year-old 6-inch uh -huh. telescope, I sure could. It does look like the picture. This telescope receives maintenance once a year, and yes, there is a man in the area who specializes in this type of telescope. Now, like I said, back in the day, the Yeatman refractor was cutting-edge technology, and to a novice like me, it still is. Are you disappointed about Pluto? A six-inch telescope is not a research instrument these days. Today, the really big telescopes are measured in tens of meters in diameter. And uh, you certainly don't do research astronomy in the middle of a metropolitan area with all the lights that light up the sky at night. So it's just a teaching tool now. Who knows if James Eatman thought his $1,500 telescope would last 150 years. But I'm sure he'd be happy to know it's still inspiring students all these years later. Uh, it's, it's really nice to have something just up here where I'm going to school that I can, I can play around with uh, and you know, do some educational stuff and some fun stuff on, on the side too. And this is fun? Oh yeah, <laughs> this is a blast. 
Chant 